Well, you wouldn't believe it, there's another Edward Scissorhands out there, and he's actually on trend. And no, I am not kidding. I've been asked a lot of times, actually, in the DMs if this person is natural. And I'm going to be fair, it's straight up. I almost didn't want to make this video because of how confusing this person actually is. But you guys asked for it, so we have to do it. My friends, we have Michael. And you've probably seen him in your Instagram algorithm very recently. Or maybe you haven't, and I'm just getting flagged with him because all of you are sending him my way. Michael's 19 years old. He sells a coaching program. And he ultimately says, hey, I'm dissatisfied with the lack of info in my routine when I first released it. So I've added an additional whole nine pages regarding diet, skincare, forearms, and abs for only $2.50 more, which is very interesting. I don't want to buy the program, but if you guys really want me to dig down deep into it, just say so in the comment section down below and I'll purchase it and give it a critique. Let's just look at the guy's physique. Is he natural? He claims he is right here in the good old comments section or description or whatever you'd want to call it. He has a very, very interesting body type. I honestly can say that this individual looks super unique. Michael looks like an anime character and a gothic acolyte to something else. I I'm not even sure. What do you mean by that? But his basic thing that he does is literally just post reels showing vascularity with sharpness turned up to fucking a million and posts these weird pictures in a bathroom of what I'm assuming to be an anytime fitness where he just sort of does really poor flexes and uh, moves around his body in front of the camera. He's got great arm genetics, definitely a good physique to be, you know, generally bigger than the average male, I would guess, allegedly. Here we got a little punching action. I don't actually think he... I mean, from just watching this, it's definitely not a, he's definitely not a boxer. That's for sure. A lot of people are saying he looks like the real life Choso, which I can kind of see maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe not that much. Allegedly, they say he looks like the real life Choso. I think it's just his hair and how he kind of puts it in like a ponytail or something like this. I'm, I'm really not entirely sure what's happening here and why he's all of a sudden hitting the Instagram algorithm like a maniac. I mean, his videos are getting hundreds of thousands of views, likes and comments. He's gained 200,000 followers in the span of literally a few weeks just by sitting in this bathroom and posing but anyway he's likely making more money than me now and is he natural well he's he's definitely natural guys look you, you don't have to be jacked to be you you, you don't need to be on drugs to get jacked. I think a lot of people have the delusion that this is a requirement because they had to to get to their point of being jacked. But we tend to forget that there is a lot of genetic proclivities. And I'm not saying people like Mike O'Hearn are natural, but there's a lot of people in this world who do have an amazing physique, sometimes better than what most people can achieve on gear completely naturally. Now, how common is this or uncommon? Well, I'm going to be very fair and say that it's completely uncommon, but with internet these days and virtually every Everybody having access to some sort of cellular device with a data connection. It's pretty easy to pop open Instagram and post a couple pictures, especially of your physique, something that is idolized by a lot of people as it targets a pain point in a lot of men. And that means we have more people posting more pictures of their physiques that would be that rare genetic outlier that we simply just don't see on a day to day basis and that you might never see in person. Someone like this who's 19 years old and claims natural does seem a little speculatory, like it's a little weird for sure, but I believe that dude's natural he's just got a really wild ass aesthetic which to be honest good for him man that's a ton of confidence he paints his nails black and shit maybe in one life but not this one i don't think he's delusional because he's taking trend that's something that someone dm'd me i don't think that's true i think the dude's just who he is and he's he's wearing his ponytail he's flexing in the anytime fitness bathroom and uh pulling chicks or shit or dudes Really, I mean, we don't know these days. These days, it could be either or. It could be either or. Uh, and I don't know if, if you guys have seen this guy in your algorithm. It's definitely an interesting individual, unique, and there's probably a big reason as to why he's getting a lot of uh, upregulation within the algorithm. But I don't think there's a lot of upregulation within the injectables going into his body or the oral compounds. I think this guy is just natural. You can really tell by how soft his physique is, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way. It's just kind of like what you get when you're a natural individual. And I mean, just like looking at his physique his arms are big but it's not like he's like lean or grainy or anything like that his back isn't crazy big he's just kind of like average 
body fat percentage and you know a bit more muscular than the average male his his age but at the end of the day he's not like really really crazy lean i mean he still has love handles he still has you know lower abdominal fat it, it's just a guy who's a little bit more sizable especially in the arms which proportionately make people look a lot bigger than they really are and i think that's more than likely why he is natural and not just a completely sauced out of his mind dude and to be honest i would recommend probably for him not to get on the sauce because we don't want to see that hairline recede because that haircut with a receded hairline dude yuck bro that would be some gnarly gnarly stuff that you would want to deal with what do you guys think is this guy on gear if he is i guess i'm a fool because i don't see it but some people think that he is for sure uh, and if you guys are wondering we do have a discord open where we talk about these things very openly and a lot more especially if you're interested in the pharmacology side of things so make sure you click the link down below join the discord it is an amazing group but it's a great way that you can support me as a youtuber tons more videos coming out but i'm always interested in hearing what you guys would want to see so feel free to comment down below or join the discord group and tell me in there let's see you next time i don't know what i'm doing anymore